Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Today we're talking about robotic nervous systems. I know you've been thinking about this a lot, so I just thought I'd go over it. You know, robots can build cars, build washers, dryers, refrigerators, but they can't, in the United States, pick up a bottle. They can't pick up an egg. Some robots may be better than us, and they can dive deep underwater without ever needing to come up for air. But they don't have our sense of touch, at least for now. Engineers at the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne in Switzerland published in Advanced Materials on their ultra-thin flexible cables embedded with electrodes. The inserted conductors mean the plastic can send electronic signals in response to touch. That sure sounds like a human nerve, and the engineer thought so too. Which is why the 10-person engineer team, headed by assistant professor Fabien Soren, thinks their devices is an idea candidate for robotic nerves. Basically, this nerve is a skinny fiber optic cable full of electrodes. To pull this off, the team started with a dense block of plastic, which they heated up and pulled out to get tiny flexible cords. Most draw-out techniques like this rely on plastics that stiffens up, so the team works with a different material that's kept it its electricity. Before pulling the cord, the engineers placed the electrodes exactly where they wanted them. As a plastic lengthened, the fibers enveloped the conductors. The final product looks almost like a tiny rubber band snipped open, thin, nearly clear, and incredibly stretchy. Since it's so soft and flexible, it can cooperate with being robot joints. The engineer can also build in several layers of electrodes at once, so increased in varying types of pressure triggers different Responses explains Sorry. For the most part, other engineering forays into robotic touch are bulkier or rely on larger fluids reserve reservoirs than EPFL's cord does. Plus, if robots are ever going to get close to the tacticity that human counterparts have, they're going to need more than a fingertip's worth of material. This cording can be made in bulk. It just depends on how much plastic the engineer starts with and how long they feel like drawing it out for. There's no word yet on what the Swiss team plans to do with their tech. They do know it has value, though. They've already filled patents. Even if it's not in robotics for a long time, who knows? The faux nerves could end up in small fabrics for us, too. We've been looking for tech clothing that we actually want to wear, and these cords might be the solution. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Leave a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and the notification bell has three settings. It's being notified of all, sometimes, which is like once a month, and then there's never. So why they have a notification bell that has a never notify? I don't know. It's YouTube. Uh, I believe uh, they have to pay their electric bill, and that electric bill is really expensive. Thank you for watching. Appreciate y'all.